part of the tool, we'll be focusing on how we can make an achievement that we just earned fade in and out on the screen. Because right now, when we earn an achievement, it just pops on onto the screen like this, and then it suddenly disappears when the time is up. What we want to do is that whenever we earn an achievement, we want to fade in slowly, and then we will be able to read the text on it, and then it should fade out again after a while. So we could go to each achievement and look at the different alpha values. For example, now when I earn two achievements here, I could go to the color and tune down the alpha value. But when I tune down the alpha value of um, the visual achievement, well then the text, the title and the points and everything are still visible. And to get those, I would need to go to the title as well, find the alpha and then tune that down as well. To avoid this um, complications here, we can actually use something called the canvas group to tune down all the alpha values at the same time. So what I want to do is I want you to go to your prefabs and then go to your visual achievement here. And that visual achievement we need to add a canvas group. So if you click add component and then go to layout and then find the canvas group here, well then you can see there's an alpha here and this alpha is basically split on everything, uh, every child element. So if I would earn an achievement again and pause, well, then I could go to my visual achievement here and then from my code, I would be able to fade my um, canvas group out like this. And then I'll be able to fade it in again like this by adjusting the alpha like this. And that's exactly what we want to do from our code. So we need to get into our code to do this and we need to do it in our achievement manager. So go to your achievement manager and then go all the way to the bottom of the script. Because in here we need to create a function that can actually manipulate with this canvas group we just made. We're gonna run this function inside a coroutine. So we're gonna make a private i enumerator and it's gonna be fade achievement. And we need to give it a game object because we need to tell it which achievement it needs to fade right now. So game object achievement. There we go. Okay. So first of all, we need to get the alpha or the the canvas group from this achievement. So we need to make a canvas group to make a reference to it, and then we need to set it give name canvas, and it should be equal to achievement that get component canvas group. So here, this line of code basically stores a reference to this uh, canvas group on the achievement so that we can manipulate it from our code. And basically we want our visual achievement to be invisible from the get-go, so just set this value out here to zero right away in your prefabs. Because now we have a reference to this and we can manipulate it from within here by using this variable. So we want our um, canvas group to fade over an amount of time so we also need to put up here private, let's just make it private for now, private um, integer and we're going to call it fade time and we're going to set it equal to let's say two seconds or something. So this is the time in seconds it's going to take for our achievement to fade totally in and fade totally out again. You can always adjust this from your either from your editor if you make this public or just from in here. So you have to play around with it to get the value you actually want. So we need to calculate the rate because we want it to fade over an amount of seconds. So we need to make float rate is equal to 0 1.0 divided by fade time. And this basically calculates the rate so that we can fade over an X amount of seconds. Then we need to calculate the start or make the integer start alpha. So we need to fade from zero when we start our achievement and make other integer called end alpha and we want to fade to one from zero to one. So then we are gonna make progress float progress is equal to 0, 0.0 and then we're gonna make a while loop that says while the progress is less than one point zero well, then we are not at our end point yet. And then we need to say, well, canvas group.alpha to manipulate the alpha. 
it equal to math f dot lerp because we need to lerp between the values so from 0 to 1 so we fade in slowly dot lerp and it should be from start alpha which is the 0 to our end alpha which is 1 and then we're going to use the progress to progress over time and we need to increase this progress so that we can fade in slowly so our progress is equal to plus equal to rate times time dot delta time and this makes its frame rate independent so that it fades equally in on all devices and here I'm gonna say yield return null because an I enumerator needs to return uh, yield yes so this is part of the fading because now we can just fade it in and I want to show you how this works before we start fading it out again we're gonna do this step by step so right now we're not calling this fade achievement but we need to do that from our earn achievement function so if we go to earn achievement see if I can find it it's up here well then when we earn this achievement we have to start coroutine fade achievement instead and we need to give it the achievement that it needs to fade so let's save this and see if it works if we jump into unity and inside unity here we can play a game if I press W the achievement slowly fades in and that's it because we haven't told it to fade out yet and we haven't told it to be removed yet but this is start so now we have the fading part so what we need to do is that we need to go back into our function down here and we need to write a little more code to make sure that we can fade it out because we need to run this code the ex exact same code basically we need to run it two times and we need to run it in reverse basically so what I'm going to do is that after I have run this progress through then I'm gonna say well start alpha is equal to 1 my end alpha is equal to 0 so I'm basically swapping these two down here so that I turn it around then I'm also gonna put some time for us to read so I'm gonna say yield return new wait for seconds and this is the time it will take for us to read the achievement so let's say that we have it shown on the screen for let's say two seconds so it takes two seconds to fade in when it's fading in it's shown on the screen for two seconds and then we switch these around and then we need to run this up here again so basically we need to make a for loop that runs two times and all this is what we're gonna put in here so we do all this part two times when we've done that we also need to put the progress inside here inside this for loop because we need to reset the progress when we are done fading uh, in so that we can fade out if we don't put the progress in here well then we're just gonna remove the uh, um, achievement instantly like we did before besides that we also need to destroy the achievement when we're done so basically to remove it from our game we need to say destroy achievement so now we have the code for fading in and out so save this and then jump back into unity and then we can basically run our game to test that this works actually I'm gonna run it in maximize so if I press the W it fades in on my screen I have some time to read it and when it's done well then it starts fading out again and then it should be removed from my game I can try again from here so we can see the hierarchy press S it fades in on my screen press S to unlock this achievement and it fades out and this one should be destroyed in a few seconds as it does so that was basically all the functionality for this achievement system I'm gonna wait make one more part of this achievement um, tutorial right now and this part is gonna be focusing on adding some finishing touches like adding more achievements and and making that fruit fruit clicking uh, part for example so that we have something to play around with so you can see how it everything actually works um, so the next part of the tutorial is not adding functionality to the achievement system it's more about how we can use it